let's look at this question on graphing nonlinear graphs. So the question is graph showing all relevant features of the equation y is equal to 2 over x plus 3 minus 2. Now, this is an equation of a hyperbola. So uh, you can do this in different ways. To draw the hyperbola, the first thing that you need, need to decide is the horizontal and the vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote is very easy. When would uh, the denominator become zero? Or in other words, when would the function become undefined? So whenever you have the denominator zero, the function becomes undefined. So that's what you're thinking first. So you're asking, when would this denominator become zero? Okay, so we'll ask the question, when would x plus three become zero? So the, it's pretty easy. When x is negative three, the denominator becomes zero, so the function becomes undefined, which implies your vertical asymptote, asymptote is negative two. So what's the vertical asymptote doing? It's telling us that you cannot take this value. Okay, the function is not defined at negative three. So you have to draw a a wall there. I call that a a wall. So let me draw a wall. So this is negative three. So I'll draw a wall. So this is called the vertical asymptote and this is called x or this the equation of this line is x is negative three. So your graph will never touch this, will never approach this. So it'll be it can come as close as possible but it cannot touch it. Okay, so I also call this line a don't touch me line. Okay. The next thing is to decide the uh, the horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote, uh, I, we can give formulas, but uh, if you don't understand the intuition, you don't understand what's happening. So to find the horizontal asymptote, you're asking the question, what happens for the horizontal asymptote so these are basically two questions you have to ask. For the vertical asymptote, you have to ask the question, when would the function become undefined? Or in other words, when would the denominator become zero? So for the horizontal asymptote, you have to ask the question, what happens when x is approaching plus or minus negative infinity? Okay, so two questions. So we can't do it together. So let us, in some case you can, but here what happens when x approaches a positive infinity? Infinity. That means it's, it's a very huge number. So use your logic, put on your thinking cap. When I can say y, can I write y as minus two? Uh, this becomes almost zero. So, so this is two plus, this is a very huge number. So this is almost zero. So two plus zero. So you can say two plus something very small. Okay, two plus zero is of course uh, minus two, sorry, minus two plus zero. So we can say when X is approaching positive infinity, your Y would approach negative two. Okay, it'll be negative two plus something. Okay, so you can say it'll never be two, but it'll be two plus something. Okay, which is very small, so you can say it will be approach two from above. This is the notation to show that when x is approaching infinity, y would be approaching two from above. Okay. And what happens when x is approaching negative infinity? y would be approaching, of course, negative 2, sorry, yeah? Negative 2 from below. I'll explain this. Now, why did I write below? So, yeah, when you put a negative number, this would become minus 2 minus 0, which is very small. So, yeah, 
y would be approaching minus 2 from below. So I'll draw a vertical asymptote, sorry, the horizontal asymptote at negative 2. So this is your negative 2. I'll move this. So this is this is negative 2. Okay, that's fine. So this line is called y is equal to negative 2. So you can also find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, so I'll show the working here. So y-intercept, it's very messy now. The y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So you can say y would become, this is 0, 2 third minus 2. Okay, 2 third minus 2 is y is minus 1 and 1 third. Am I right? So this is uh, 2 is how many thirds? 4 thirds. Uh, 4 thirds. Uh, so this is, sorry, this is 6 thirds. Uh, so 2 thirds minus 2. So let us use the calculator. Why should we use our brain when we can use the calculator? Two thirds minus two. We can do. Ah, oh, this my setting is wrong. Let me change my setting. Two a plus b r. Yeah. So two thirds minus two is minus one one third. Yeah, that's right. So my y intercept is minus one and one third. So this is somewhere yeah okay so this is zero this is one and so this is very close to so this is your y intercept okay what's your x intercept x intercept so let me x intercept is when y is equal to zero okay so x intercept is when y is equal to zero uh, when y is zero what will happen 0 is equal to 2 over x plus 3 minus 2. So adding 2 to both sides, 2 is equal to 2 over x plus 3. So x plus 3 is 2 over 2. I hope you understand. This is 1, so x is negative 2. So your x-intercept is negative 2, comma, 0. So the x-intercept is negative, comma, 0. So these are the two points which will give you the shape of the graph. So here we know when x is approaching infinity, positive infinity, it will be approaching 2 from above. Okay, so it will be approaching 2 from above. So the shape of the graph, this would be when, of course I can also explain when x is approaching 3 from the right and left. Okay, I think. Uh, it'll take too much of time, but you can understand the shape of the graph would go like this. So it'll be approaching negative 3, sorry, yeah, negative 3. This is the x-intercept, this is the y-intercept, and this is approaching 2, negative 2 from above. This is what I mean, when as this becomes, the x-value becomes bigger and bigger, this will be approaching 2 from above. And the other branch is a reflection of this. And that's what I'm saying, that when x is approaching a negative infinity, this will approach negative 2, y, it will approach y is equal to negative 2 from below. So this is the other branch. This is, I don't want to see this branch much, but you have to know the shape. And these two are symmetrical over this, or they are reflection of each other. Okay.